come back and start with the next type of polymer polymers that is condensation polymers so we have listed out one two three we still have two more to learn so in the exam they may ask you either the uses as i said earlier they may they'll give you this compound and ask you to write the names of the monomers only names lucky enough if you get that or they may ask you to write the structures of monomers or they may ask you to write the polymer of that after condensing so basically whenever i speak about condensation polymerization you have to remember that two different molecules are going to combine to form one molecule one molecule that will continue that forms a polymer repeating units during this process it's going to lose water molecule that is dehydration is going to happen right when i have to speak about dacron or terlin whose uses are already given as a name suggests here ter means terry talic acid ene means ethylene glycol okay i am writing both the structures see how are we going to condense so i am going to write start with ethylene glycol oh ch ch2 ch2 oh this is ethylene glycol okay i'll take out this oh, uh, hyphen here and n moles i am going to condense this with terry talic acid you have a benzene ring in the center for terry talic acid you have carboxylic groups on both the sides this is also n moles now during condensing look here this h and this oh condenses it's lost second because you have lost one h from here try to take out oh from here and h from here that means two water molecules have lost now combine together to form a polymer try to put square brackets in this way continue the chain and write n now start from here already h is lost here in form of water you have o ch2 ben ch2 these two condense together you have co careful now o and c double bond o benzene ring and your it's linking with o and this is continuing this compound is called terlin or dacron done next let's come back and do nylon 66 So nylon six six basically is made up of two monomeric units. Remember that. In, I'll show you why we have got it in this six six also. First, the first monomer of nylon six six is. Look here, how am I writing? Hexa methylene diamine and adipic acid. Here it is. talic acid terry talic acid here it is adipic acid so hexa methylene diamine that means there are six methylene groups what is methylene group ch2 taken six times hexa methylene is over diamine means on both the sides you have nh2 here also nh2 you going to add with adipic acid adipic acid is nothing simple just like your terry talic acid you have coh groups on both the sides but in the center you have Four. How? Just see. Six six. I said nylon six six. Here there are six carbon atoms, methylene groups. Here also there are six. How? Four, five, and six. Total six and six joined together to form nylon six six polymer. So how should you remove this? Is under five fifty three Kelvin high pressure if it is condensed. How how is the water molecule <coughs> lost? <coughs> Sorry, two water molecules are lost. From where are they lost? H from here. Observe carefully. One H I am taking out from here. When you are taking one H from here, immediately take out <coughs> one more OH from here. Done. In, now come back to this because from here and here condensed. I need to condense these two. Observe carefully. One H from here. Done. Now let us write COH in this way. Easy, isn't it? COOH. I have taken H from here, so I have to take out OH from here. Now join. Make a square bracket in this way. <coughs> N, N. Done. This is also N. <coughs> this moles. This is also N moles. When they combine, they you write it in this way, which represents the polymer form. Now first, what happened? N H. Okay. Make when you can write H also like this. N H. Yes. Then how many are there? 
<coughs> CH2 taken six times. Now, this N has become NH. <coughs> Next, this all the water is OH is lost. You're left with C double bond O. The CH2 taken four times. Now, C <coughs> O. Now, observe carefully. There is a formation of amide group in between. Look here. NHCO is an amide group. That's why nylon 6, 6 comes under the category of polyamides. And they'll ask you, write an example of polyamides. Then you'll write this example. So, this is nylon 6, 6 because 6 and 4, plus 4 5, 6. So, see, see here, there are 6 carbon atoms here, 6 carbon atoms. So, this is nylon 6, 6. Done. <coughs> Let's come back and write for nylon 6 now. So, nylon 6, the monomeric unit is caprolactam. Caprolactam, nothing simple. It is a cyclic chain. How should you write? Try to first write NH on one end. Then join this with C double bond O. Now, from here, you have to remember there are five carbon chain atoms. Okay. Now, this don't start from here. Okay. This is already over. 1, 2. 3, 4, now count, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the, <coughs> fifth one, let's count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, right, 4, and 5, fifth one is this, done, <coughs> When I have, when I am supplying almost 543 uh, to 553 Kelvin temperature, right, when, he, when it is heated, the stain opens up. When the stain opens up, it becomes a straight chain. How many? CH2 taken 5 times. Okay, if I have written wrong, let us see. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Done. So, CH2 taken 5 times. Now, what do you have? You have NH on one side and you have C double bond O on one side done so <coughs> this extends this also extends you can write like this E bond O and this becomes so this is your <coughs> nylon 6 because 5 plus 1 6 nylon 6 that's it